Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative x minus 5y minus 5z equals 2, 4x minus 5y plus 4z equals 19, and x plus 5y minus z equals a negative 20. And we need to solve this using elimination. First thing I'm looking for, I'm trying to find two equations easily that I can just add and eliminate a variable, and hopefully two variables. So what I see here is the first equation and the second, or the last equation, sorry, first and last equation here, I can add them together. So I'm going to put that over here, negative x minus 5y minus 5z, and it's important to take your time here, equals 2. The second equation, we have x plus 5y minus z equals a negative 20. And so I pick those equations because I notice if I add them together, our 5y's will cancel, the variable y, as well as the x's. So I'm going to add it here, and let's go down. Negative x plus x becomes 0. They cancel each other out. Negative 5y plus 5y cancel each other out. Off to a good start. Negative 5z plus a negative z is a negative 6z. And then 20 plus a negative, or <laughs> negative 20 plus 2, negative 18. We divide both sides by negative 6, and z equals, well, a positive 3. So we now have one answer here, one variable uh, we have found. We need to find another one. So where can we actually go, well, from here? We can take two other equations and see if we can eliminate um, something to maybe get a variable by itself. Okay, So we have z equals 3, but if I look at the second equation and the third equation, if I add them together, my y's will cancel. And I'd be left with an x and z, but I already know one of the z values. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take these two equations and actually, I'll just, <laughs> so this is just these two right here. I'll just add it here. Okay, So just kind of save some space. 4x plus x is a good old 5x. Negative 5y plus 5y is, well, 0. That's what we're looking for. And then 4z plus a negative z is a 3z. And then 19 plus a negative 20 is a negative 1. And now, where do we know? Well, we know z is 3. So we're going to take that 3 value and put it in for z. So we have 5x plus 3 times 3 equals a negative 1. So let's solve that. Well, now we can solve for x, right? 3 times 3 is 9. And we have 5x comes down. Subtract 9 to both sides, and 5x equals a negative 10. Divide both sides by 5, and x equals a negative 2. So now we have the x value, and we have the z value. Let's go find the y value. I can pick any one of my equations here to plug in a z and x value, and I think the last one's the easiest. So I'm going to take that equation, let's put it, I'll put it right here. We have x plus 5y minus z equals negative 20. So you kind of see that's where I'm getting it from. Now let's go plug in the values that we know. x we said was negative 2. We don't know the y value yet, we're going to find that. And then we're minus z being 3. And that's a negative 20. And now we have enough information to solve for y. Let's combine our like terms here. So negative 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 5. So we have 5y minus 5 equals negative 20. We add a 5 to both sides and we have 5y equals a negative 15. And divide both sides by 5, y is by itself, and that's a negative 3. So we have our three values. We can write it as in one statement here negative 2, comma, negative 3, comma, 3, and there we have it. Our x value is negative 2, our y value is negative 3, and our z value is a positive 3, and that is our final answer. hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.